Welcome back traders to another video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. I've realized that 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. Also follow me on Instagram. I post daily updates on trading and I have a ton of content on there as well. And if you want a free Forex course, make sure you check out the link in my description. I just made it. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. started i want to remind you guys that my program is on a huge discount the website is in the link in the description or rorfx.com and once you go to join now you can sign up right here um this is what you guys are going to get there is a four part program so this is part two that i was just on but you guys can see you're going to have access to fx university and then part two part three and part four so if i go to part four this is the most recent course you can see that it has sections, it has my US 30 strategy, all the stuff that I'm really using as of today is in part four. And also you guys are gonna have access to my group chat. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you guys can see that it is right here. There are 63 members, really cool stuff going on in here. I do send trades on what I'm taking and also there are a bunch of trainings and new stuff that I went over in the past. Without further ado though, let's go into US 30. US 30 was a pretty nice day and I want to give you guys a little hack before we actually like, well I want to give you guys, that is the point of this video, I don't know what that line is on me, um, but I want to give you guys a really good trading hack. So a lot of you are probably like Colt, right at the market open is when the real move is happening, that's a quick and fast move and I want to know how I can take the market open and be profitable. So. I want to show you guys something. I really like using the five minute chart. This is just my bread and butter right here. And it's really nice how these candles form the way they open and close. And it's just a very good timestamp. I think five minutes per candle is a really good time frame. So when you are trading, the market open is at 630. And usually you can tell what the market is going to do by the current trend. So right here we have this zone of consolidation but we are already in an uptrend. So when I came to my terminal today, I was like, all right, my bias is automatically long. I don't think it's gonna go short. I think it's long right now. We're gonna be buyers today. And what you could have done, there's two ways of doing this, two real times. You should be looking at the time 6.20 and 6.25 a.m. Those are my times in California. So it'd be 9.20 and 9.25 if you live in the East Coast. So check this out. This candle right here closed at 625. Then this candle closed at 630. So we can see that these are two bullish candles and these are continuation candles or reversal candles. So we can see on these two candles, this was the market open right here. So before catching the market open, what I like to do if I'm gonna trade with this strategy, I don't really do this anymore. I sometimes do, I could have done it today. But I like to look five to 10 minutes before the market open and I'm looking at those five minute candles. How are they closing? Are they closing bullish? And the overall thing that I'm really looking for is do they have a tight stop loss? Because I don't wanna go into this trade when the market opens and have a ginormous stop loss. So the cool thing about trading at the market open is when you go into these positions, they haven't had that quick big reaction yet so therefore you're gonna have a very tight stop loss which is really nice so we can see right here let's do a little replay okay this was 620 right here this would have been a perfect candle to enter on but really anything can happen in 10 minutes so this is 620 we still have 10 minutes till the market open so with me i like to enter right at about 625 if i'm going to use this strategy so there's less time before the market open because i want this candle to close exactly bullish or bearish it's going to tell me do you know what this next candle that at the market open is going to fly and just push the momentum to the upside so right here is a candle 625 to 630 and what you could have done right here this is like this is what you guys should be doing if i were you this candle has five minutes on it, so it closes at 6.30.
You're not going to enter a candle halfway through. You're not going to enter a candle within the first minute. I've told you guys in the past that when you're trading, you want the candle to expire. So there is a little expiration bar. Like, I can't go. I'll show you guys in a second the expiration bar. But I want this candle to expire. But I'm going to enter about 10 seconds before that candle expires. And I'm going to have already my take profit and everything in mind. So I'm like, okay, if I'm going to take this trade. I'm going to buy by market execution right there. I'm going to have my stops right below it. So 400 pips is not bad. And I'm going to target this psychological level, but I'm going to target it a little bit higher. So I'm going to go for around 650 pips because I know that the market open is going to fly past that psychological level level because it needs to be met and it will be met, but I think it's going to surpass it. And then that's my setup right there. I enter it five, 10 seconds before and then boom. There's a market open that quick reaction. So if you guys do want to trade this way, this is the most profitable way to do this. And this is overall how you guys are going to be able to see results by doing that. So here's the clicker right here, this timer. So once it gets to about five to 10 seconds left, I'm like, all right, perfect. This candle is about to close. It's closing exactly how I want it. Let's take a short position here or a long position, whatever I want to do. And that that's exactly what I'm doing guys exactly what I'm doing to trade and what you also can do is look at the previous minute 15 candle that closed at 630 and open at 615 that candle is going to give you a lot of confirmation on what the market is going to do next so we saw right here on this candle from 6 a.m. to 615 reversal candle then right after that bullish candle and we could really tell that the market was ready to go up because we do have a V pattern right here with the reversal candle and this next bullish candle that we would enter on did surpass the body of the previous bearish candle, giving us really giving us a lot of confirmation. Like, look, this is a bullish engulfing. This thing is about to fly at the market open. And what did it do? It freaking shot up. Let's see how many pips it shot up. So right at the market open within 15 minutes, 1,460 pips, baby. 1,400 pips in 15 minutes. Imagine just using this strategy right here and just catching one trade, just one trade at the market open, one trade per week, and that's it. You're like, all right, I have a risk of 400 pips. That's absolutely pennies to my account. Let me drop three times the normal lot size I would. It's still going to be risking only 5 3% of my account, whatever it is, but... I'm, I'm ready for this like let me take this trade and let me see how it goes and boom you're gonna see that quick reaction right away because bro every time at the market open it's just gonna be a super quick fast reaction and I know a lot of you have that fear of missing out or you want to like catch that really good trade here you go this is a really good strategy for you so what is the action step after watching this video this is very important that you guys take this next action step or none of this is really going to apply Go back in time. You have a timer right here or date. Go to yesterday. Go to last Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Monday. Go back in time and look at the minute 15 chart from that 615 candle to the 630. And also look at the minute 5 on the 620 to 625 and 625 to 630. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.